today, what are we making? Mashed potatoes. <laughs> Welcome back to Cooking with OPK. That's right. All right. Simple country mashed potatoes. So, country mashed potatoes. We're using red potatoes. That's right. One of my favorite potatoes for mashed potatoes. Of course, there's Yukon Gold. But if you don't want skin on, I would use those. Those make the best yeah. creamy mashed potatoes. Super might... creamy and buttery. We're going to be leaving some of the skin on because they're kind of country mash and they're good. Yes, they are. So, let's get going. And grab our little cast iron. Our large cast iron. That's right. Good. I fill it up with water. And yes, I kind of pre cut some of the potatoes. And I figured y'all didn't want to watch me peel potatoes for yeah, five fine. minutes. So, <laughs> so first thing, we're going to partially peel the potato, which is easy. We're just going to take our potato and just go around with the peeler. Yeah. And then do one roll here. Kind of making an X around it. Yeah. So then you have a nice little potato. Because you don't want all the skin on, because sometimes it gets too skinny. Yeah. So I like to just shave off to so use, you, you know, leave just yeah, a little keep, bit of the skin on. Keep some color. And then to that, we're so going to cut it into equal sized little cubes. And just basically just cutting it and. Cool. There we go. Yeah, easy as that. Add it to the pot, and we'll finish these off. But yeah, I like these little red waxy potatoes. I think they make great mashed potatoes. They do. They definitely do. And they just, they taste good. I don't like potatoes out of russet. Like no. mashed potatoes out of russets. They almost get a little gummy. Yes. But these uh, guys, it's a, it's a quick, yeah. easy way. I know some people are like, ah. and I'll admit, even I fall victim of, let's just get some dehydrated potatoes or instant potatoes. Yeah. But, well, I mean, uh, it's not too much harder to actually boil potatoes. Really, the biggest thing is it just makes more dishes. Well, and this is, but with the instant potato, you're still gonna boil the water, add them, let them sit. And of course, you're gonna add stuff to it because they're not always that great. Yeah. So really, you might as well just make your yeah. own potatoes. Because it's really only gonna take 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. Total time. five minutes or so to peel and partially peel. Or if you like a lot of skin, you don't have to peel. You don't have to peel. I know yeah. a lot of people that don't. So really, that's going to take five minutes. This is three pounds of potatoes. That's a good amount of potatoes for about four or five people. So we got our water. We're starting it on a cold water, and we'll bring it up to a boil. And then once it hits a boil, we'll set a timer for about 10 minutes or until it's nice and fork tender. So, we're gonna let those potatoes bubble away. While we have the potatoes coming up to a boil, we're gonna go ahead and get the other ingredients and get them warming. And it's just, we got some half and half, a little cream cheese and butter, our salt, pepper, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But I find it's important to warm those because you don't wanna put cold ingredients into hot potatoes. Yes, it will melt it, but We'll just find it'll cool them off too fast and it, it doesn't really make them as fluffy when you start mixing them or whipping them. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And using the cream cheese, it'll make it a lot easier to combine with that yes. little. Yes. It's just a lot easier. And while these are good, you just put them on a little burner. It's nothing huge. You're not trying to boil or make a sauce. You're just trying to yeah. melt everything down. So it's easy to keep it warm as your potatoes are coming to a boil. And exactly. Boil. So. so first things first, we're going to grab a baby little pot. Which I've used this pot for oh, many, many years. I don't need the lid. <laughs> so this is a very difficult process. You're gonna turn it on low. You're gonna grab some half and half. I know this is the hard part. You're gonna pour it in. <laughs> no. Oh my goodness! I make it too hard. That's just too much work for them to do. <laughs> So we got our little cream cheese here. This uh, four ounces, and that was half a cup of half and half. We're doing three tablespoons of butter. Just gonna put it all in here on kind of a low flame. And just cause we wanna gradually bring it up and melt it. We don't wanna s 
scorch the half and half or anything like that. And we have plenty of time while the potatoes are cooking to just kind of bring it up. What else we got to do? Oh, clean the dishes. <laughs> no. But to this, I'm going to go ahead and grab our seasonings and just add it into this pot and it'll just save us time in the end. So what do we need? So we're going to grab our smoked salt, just because I love smoked salt. Teaspoon of that. We got... And because this is a country potato, I'm going to use black pepper. This was more of a elegant kind of mashed potatoes. I would use white pepper. So half a teaspoon of black pepper, quartz ground. And then finally, going to have half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Easy as that. And then we're just going to kind of slowly stir that together. You see things are starting to melt, come together. And that's all you're doing. And then you'll just hold it. And when your potatoes are ready, you start whipping them up, then you can start slowly adding this nice little warm liquid in there. And it'll be super flavorful and super easy. Yep, and you won't cool off your mashed potatoes. Exactly. So, well, the potatoes are going. They're almost up to a boil. So we will see you in probably a split second, but for us, 10 minutes. Already, guys, it's been about 10 minutes and yes, the indeed. potatoes are ready. That's right. And we just pulled it out, check, double checked it with a little fork. So they're ready. So, just gonna go over here, strain them out, turn it on just for a little bit, take our potatoes. Potatoes. We're gonna throw them back in here just for second or so see that's about it what you're trying to do is you just really want to try to evaporate as much water so you don't have a watery mash so now that's done we're gonna throw it in our mixing bowl whoops uh oh we lost a potato just throw them back inside nope uh oh we're almost potato now we got our little warm cream butter and cream cheese and our seasonings oh pour that on top look at that and now if you poured that on while it was all cold you'd have a bunch of cold potatoes yep not to oh that smells good yes, <laughs> this is a awesome base recipe even if you didn't want the country style you want to peel all your potatoes that's mm -hmm. just fine but it's a great base to start with so we're gonna grab our cool little wireless yes. hand mixer and give it a try. Got a new tool in the test kitchen. Ooh, that bowl's hot. But you could simply use a potato masher, just a whisk, a stand mixer. Mm-hmm. Oh. Get this on about medium and just uh oh. Go to town. And It's well, you know, it's a nah. first time using it, so takes a second. Or I might not have charged it, which happens. <laughs> That's happened a couple of times. But all you're gonna do is just whip these. I mean, see how easy? Yeah, I mean that really came together pretty nicely. I mean, there. Yeah. There you go. All right. Check that out, dude. That is some very uh, awesome potatoes. Spoon time. See if we need to add a little salt or a pepper. Woohoo. Mm. Mm. They're pretty good. I would say probably about a half a teaspoon of salt. Yeah, a little salt, and those are solid. Mm. But while we add that salt, because this is a great base, we're going to add in a little horseradish because we mm. love horseradish potatoes. And I'm going to chop yes. up some fresh uh, chives in it just to kind of elevate our potatoes just a little bit. Exactly. So, yeah, this is just a great base recipe. And uh, if you've never had horseradish mashed potatoes, you've got to try it. Oh, yes, they are delicious, especially with steaks or really anything. 
All right, we got some chives all chopped up. Might as well chop them all, why not? Chives yeah, are delicious. Well. Well, there's plenty of potatoes in here too for yeah. all them chives to go on. They're nice. All right, let's all join the party. Yeah. You want to grab the smoked salt? Yeah, for sure. Oh. No, it's it's oh. back over there. Whoa. <laughs> I put it up. And we're gonna use a creamy horseradish. And to the this three pounds of potatoes, I would do about two tablespoons. That's about two. Yeah, I mean it really just depends on how much you like horseradish. Yeah, you can always taste it and And, like a lot of these little wireless devices, they kind of suck. <laughs> well, I don't think you charged it. No, I think the battery's dead. Yeah. Just gotta be gentle with it. That's why I would not recommend that guy. Uh, you can't not recommend it if you didn't charge it. 100% sure I charged it. Oh, okay, just, I take it back. We did charge this thing. It just has a small battery and the viscosity of the potatoes just drained it. Well, don't get this one. We're definitely not affiliated. It's the Farberware. Yes. Not a suggestible mixer. <laughs> so. But that's all right. Because easily resolved with a spoon. Yeah, we really were just using this to test it out. And y'all got to see. Yeah. It sucked. <laughs> well, mm. unlike these potatoes. Yeah. Ah. Mm. That's good. All right, guys. Well, mm. I want some easy mashed potatoes. You've, then you've got the recipe for it. That's right. And that horseradish. I just love horseradish does, mashed potatoes, I, man. Especially with any kind of beef or steak or lamb. Horseradish mashed potatoes are amazing. Seriously. Oh, and if you did like potato cakes, but use Oof. horseradish mash. Be good. All right. Well, till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that fun stuff. Comment, let us know what you think. Yes, and go check out our recipes in the description, or you can go to our website and find a bunch of website or a bunch of a bunch of <laughs> recipes. Outdoortestkitchen.org. Indeed. So until next time, keep camping and keep cooking. Yeah. Mm. That's good. Yeah, dude. That's solid. I'm a little disappointed with the mixer. Yeah, dude. That sucks. I was hoping this was gonna be good. Although, when I saw it, I knew. I wanted to try that one because that one was much cheaper. Well, it makes sense.